Hey there Spartans, welcome back. E3 has officially kicked off and while we aren't drowning in the sea of Halo news we were yesterday, there's still stuff to talk about. During the Xbox media briefing yesterday, it was revealed that six classic Halo maps would be remastered in glorious new graphical fidelity. We already know about Ascension, but it seems that Lockout and Zanzibar are also getting the anniversary treatment. Both maps are fan favorites from Halo 2 and listed among my favorite Halo maps of all time. A quick thought. Does anyone else want to see a Ghost of Lockout Easter Egg on the Lockout Remake? Just a random thought as I sit here recording. Between yesterday and today, we were treated with a number of pictures of the remastered Ascension. We got a pretty good look of it during the stage demo yesterday, but let's take another look at these pictures. Our first image has a banshee in the background and gives us a good look at Ascension's location on Halo. To either side, we can see the edges of Installation 05, Delta Halo, along with the classic sweeping landscape that Halos are known for. It is interesting to see the edges of the halo ring so close to the location of the map. It seems to indicate that Ascension is high in the upper atmosphere of the ring, which makes the name of the map very appropriate. Our second image gives us a better view of the play space. We can see a lot of overgrowth on Forerunner structures, along with some mysterious floating rocks. I have to wonder from a story standpoint, of course, if this is because the map is set so high in the atmosphere that the lower gravity is allowing some of these rocks to float, or if... Perhaps it's a malfunction of the artificial gravity generator. We know that Installation 05 was not well taken care of due to a flood outbreak and the negligence of its monitor. Other images, particularly ones focused on the infamous dish in the center of the map, show that this update seems to be designed to fit with more recent Forerunner architectural design, notably floating geometry. Also worthy of note is a brief scene from a recent interview GameSpot had with Dan Ayub and Frank O'Connor. During the interview, we got to see some of the multiplayer B-roll from yesterday, but with something I hadn't really seen before. At the very end, we see the dish light up as a blue beam hits it, and the bottom of the dish is engulfed in a cone of blue light. The gamer in me wonders how this might figure into gameplay. Does it act as a shield? Will it take shields away? Or worse, kill the player? Now as a cannon nut, I have to wonder what this dish is receiving. The original Ascension was a relay station, and I would wager this goes for the remake. One thought that comes to mind are the mysterious beam emitters that have been in Halo since day one. Might we finally have solved the mystery behind why they're periodically shooting energy into the sky? Could a place like Ascension be the receiving station for this mysterious energy? Only time, and perhaps a question to 343, will tell. That's it for this video. Stay tuned to Halo Canon for more to come, today, tomorrow, and beyond, as more Halo news comes to light. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Also, please be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. All your support is extremely welcome. Thank you all.